Welcome to yoga. My name is Sarah, and I'm a certified yoga teacher with a specialization in teaching people affected by cancer. And I'm also a survivor. Like many of you, I've lived through chemotherapy, radiation, multiple surgeries, and medication management that has affected my body and my daily life. For me, yoga has been the antidote. Cancer made me weak, scared, and distrustful of my body. Yoga has made me strong and empowered. I hope it can do the same for you. Lie flat on your back. Remove your pillow so that your neck lies flat. Tilt your chin towards your chest just a little bit. Turn your palms up to bring your shoulders down. Let your heels come together and your toes fall apart, completely relaxed. Close your eyes and bring your right hand to your belly and your left hand to your heart. Notice your breathing. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, one, two, three. Exhale, just a little bit longer. One, two, three, four. Inhale, one, two, three. Exhale, one, two, three, four. Breathe a few times on your own, following that rhythm of inhaling to the count of three and exhaling for just one beat more. Breathing is one of the best things you can do for lymphedema and stress relief. Inhaling through your nose and exhaling through your nose for just slightly longer sends a message to your nervous system to be calm. Now we're going to transition to a three-part breath. Your chest and your rib cage are littered with lymph nodes. So when you breathe deeply, you support lymph flow. Inhale, pushing your belly into your hand. Raising up your belly just a bit, then draw the breath into your ribs, expanding your rib cage. Then pull the breath, just sip it up into your chest. And exhale the opposite way you came, chest, ribs, belly, and relax. Take a normal breath into your nose, out your nose, and then let's repeat the three-part breath. Inhale from your belly, pushing your hand up. Draw the breath up into your ribs, 
and sip it up into your chest, filling your whole torso. Exhale the opposite way you came. Inhale through your belly. Fill your ribs and your chest. Exhale chest, ribs, belly. Relax. Inhale belly ribs, chest, exhale, chest, ribs, belly. Now try at your own pace for three breaths. When you've exhaled, bring your palms back to the bed, the backs of your hands on the bed. Drop your shoulders and take a few simple, natural breaths. Notice how you feel. If your heart rate has gone down, if your breathing is a little bit easier, if your body feels more relaxed. Now open your eyes slowly, bringing your body back to your mind. From here, we're going to move into a very gentle sequence where we're going to stretch the spine in its five directions. I will provide modifications and move you through the full expression of the pose, but remember that you should only go as far as you can today. Yoga should feel good. The stretching should feel good. It should not ever be painful. So begin by turning your feet so that your toes face the ceiling. And lengthen your right leg by pointing your toe and bringing your toe back, flexing the foot. Now point the left toe, flex, point, flex, point, flex. Now point both of your toes and tuck your tailbone under just a little bit, drawing your belly up. Drop your shoulders down and stretch through your fingers. Tuck your chin just a nudge so that the back of your neck is long and flat. Now bring your arms up just as far as you can. For some of you, it might be this far. For some of you, to really open your shoulders, you can take this pose, the cactus pose. And for some of you, you can stretch your arms up over your head, feeling a stretch from your toes all the way through to your fingers, no matter what position your arms are in.
Bring your arms back to your sides and relax, breathing naturally. Now flex your feet and pull your kneecaps up into your thighs so that your legs are strong and engaged. Pull your belly up Drop your shoulders and again bring your arms to a position that feels good to you today. And breathe, feeling the strength of your legs and the elongation of your spine. And release. Relax into the bed, letting it cradle you. Soften the muscles and joints and bones. Breathe naturally. Now turn your hands so that your palms are facing the ground. And pull your right arm toward your toes. Bringing the side of your body into an arch or a C shape. You are stretching out the left side of your body. If it's available to you, shift your hips and your feet to create more of a curve, keeping your back as flat on the bed as you can. Let your head follow the movement of your hand. Inhale. Exhale. Come back to the center. Drop your shoulders. Flex your feet and bring your left hand down towards your feet. Letting your head follow your shoulder, creating a C shape with the left side of your body. If it's available to you, scoot your feet over to the side to create a greater arch. Inhale, exhale. Come back to the center and soften. Now bring your feet onto the bed so that your knees are bent. Then drop your knees to the right in a twist, a very gentle twist. If you can't go this far, keep your knees in the air, going just as far as you're capable of today. You're still getting all the benefits of yoga by going to your edge. Take a breath. Wherever your knees are. And relax your upper body down. Now bring your knees up to the center and twist to the other side, relaxing your shoulders down. Notice as we make these movements that one side may be more flexible or have more of a release than the other side. Yoga helps you to gain that balance, but only go as far as you can today.
Come back to the center. Bring your heels down. Let your toes fall open for a few breaths. Bring your toes back together. Put your hands on your hips and we'll do the two final movements of the spine, the back bend and the forward arch. Bring your hips and your shoulders up into an arch, dropping your belly down. Now drop your shoulders, lift your chest, push your sits bones into the bed to do a slight back bend. Inhale, arch, exhale, bend, inhale, arch, exhale, bend, inhale, arch, exhale, bend. If you want a little bit more of an arch and bend, you can bring your knees up, which gives you a little more height. Bend. Bend, arch. Now bring your feet back down. Let your toes fall open. And rest in your body. Notice if after the five movements of the spine, your back is more relaxed if your sides have a little bit more stretch to them, and if you feel calmer, breathe naturally. When you're feeling a little stronger, you can come to the edge of your bed, sit in a chair or on the couch, and practice the same sequence that we did lying down, but from a seated position. This will help you to strengthen your core and your back. Be sure that your legs are at a 90 degree angle and that your back is straight and long. Your shoulders are dropped down and the back of your head is pushed back just a little bit to lengthen your neck. We're going to practice combining our breath with the motion. So first, bring your hands out to your sides and with an inhale, bring them up over your head as far as you can. Exhaling, bring your arms back down. Inhale, raise your hands over your head. Exhale, bring your arms down. Continue inhaling and exhaling, remembering only to go as far as you can in the posture. So that might be just to here, and then bringing your arms down, or a little further, or all the way up. The important thing is that your breath is in sequence with the motion. And bring your hands back to your sides.
In order to elongate your spine, we need to engage muscles in the belly, the back, and the neck. Imagine that you have a big, heavy reptilian tail that is pulling your tailbone down. Feel how as your tailbone tucks under and weighs down, your belly pulls in and up. Raise up your rib cage, knitting your ribs together, and drop your shoulders back and down. You might want to imagine that you have a heavy pair of wings on your back. Knit your fingers together, bring them back behind your head, and lean your head back into your hands. Bring your hands down into mountain. Bend your right elbow and arch your body to the side, creating a nice C curve, stretching out the whole left side of your body. Then come back to center and bend your left elbow, creating a curve, stretching your whole right side. Go further down onto your elbow for more of a stretch. Be sure to keep your upper shoulder back so that your chest is open. Come back to center. If you're able to bring your arms above your head, you can try half moon from this position. Reaching up, and creating more of an elongation. Arching to the right, then back to center, and then to the left. Come back to center. Bring your arms back down to your sides and breathe. Push your sits bones into the chair, making sure that your back is nice and long. Bring your left hand to your right knee. Bring your right hand to the back of the chair and twist. First your belly turns, then your ribs, then your chest, and finally look over your right shoulder. Come back to center. This time, put your right hand on your left knee. Bring your left hand behind your back on the back of the chair. Inhale and turn your belly, then your ribs, then your chest, and then look over your shoulder. Come back to center. Bring your knees hip width apart and put your hands on your knees. Arch your hips forward, your shoulders back, bringing your belly and your chest forward in an arch. Then lean your hips and your shoulders forward as you concave your belly, coming into a bend. Arch forward. Bend back. Arch forward. Bend back. Arch forward, and this time, if you can, let your head fall back so that your neck is long. And then bend forward. Arch forward. 
moving with your breath, matching the motion to the inhale and your exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Come back to mountain. Now we're going to try a couple of poses that are a tiny bit more challenging but that will increase our strength and flexibility while st still being safe and not taxing our bodies too much. From a seated position, swing your legs to the right. And if you have a chair with a back, you can rest your arm on the back of the chair for stability. Bring your left leg behind you and press through the heel to straighten your legs. You should feel a stretch straight through here. Now elongate your spine, drop your shoulders, and look straight ahead. Come back to center. Turn to the left. Bring your right leg behind you Push through your heel to straighten your leg. Elongate your spine. Drop your shoulders. Return to center. Come to a standing position beside your chair. Put the palms of your hands flat on the chair for support. Then walk your feet back until you feel a stretch under your arms. Lift up your sits bones and bring your chest down toward the floor until you feel a strong stretch under your arms, across your hamstrings, and through your back. Hold for a couple of breaths. And then walk your feet forward to finish the pose. 